started just like yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that, and every day for the last month, a loop, my perfectly constructed loop. This is going to be affecting our economy in ways that are extraordinarily significant. The FBI announced today, and we can confirm that Tyrell Wellick and F Society engaged in this attack. It caused a lot of damage, and we will respond. We will respond proportionally. And will respond in a place and time that we choose. That's not something that I will announce at press conference. At 8 a.m., my daily program begins by having breakfast with my friend Leon. There's this one episode where they go to this Chinese restaurant and they're just waiting for a table the entire time. Like, they don't even eat at the end, bro. He just discovered Seinfeld. Maybe I'm overthinking it, though and talks way too much about it. It's really fucking with him. It's really fucking with me. But it's perfect for me. I don't have to say anything. I can just listen. That man, that Kramer dude, I knew him in real life. I'll knock his ass out. At 10 a.m., I help out around the house. More broadly, though, this points to the need for us to work with the international community to start setting up some very clear rules of the road. Uh, right now, it's sort of the Wild West. At 12 p.m., I have lunch with Leon. And then there's this one where they're stuck in a garage the whole time. Like, what? That's not a TV show, bro. Where's the story? It just makes no sense. At 2 p.m., we'll check out a basketball game. Hot Carla, the local pyro, is usually there. She's become like my personal totem. I still don't understand why people like sports. They get so emotional over the weirdest things. But I do see the beauty and the rules. The invisible code of chaos, hiding behind the menacing face of order. At 4.30 p.m., I clean up around the house again. There hasn't been anything like this in the past. That's part of what makes uh, this issue of cybersecurity so urgent. At 6 p.m., I have dinner with Leon. Though maybe I just need to make peace with it, you know what I'm saying? As you can tell, we eat most meals together. Like, maybe that's the show's point. That shit is just pointless, you know? Like, life, love, and the meanings therein. I tell you, the human condition is a straight up tragedy, cause, word. Like I said, I never have to talk, and the repetition is good for me now. It keeps my regimen intact. Overwhelm me. Two days a week, I go to a church group. I don't get the rules here either, but I need to keep socializing myself. It's good for me. Besides, these people seem normal. Amen. Do not get into a pattern in which you're intimidated by these kind of criminal attacks. America knows how to solve problems. And when we work together, we can't be stopped. A new future is ready to be written. I've been keeping a journal. It's the only way to keep my program running like it's supposed to. See you in the morning. And then I go to bed. My mom has no computer or internet access to tempt me into the night. All that's left for me is just ordinary analog sleep, ending the day's loop. You might not think it's a way to live, but why not? Repeating the same tasks each day without ever having to think about them. Isn't that what everybody does? Keep things on repeat? To go along with their NCISs? and Lexapro. 
is in that where it's comfortable, in the sameness. Why your mom? Why her specifically? She's the strictest person I know. But you've attributed a lot of your childhood trauma. Better the devil you know than the devil you don't, right? Do you feel alone? Darlene comes by sometimes. Is there anything you miss about your old life? Doesn't matter, even if I did. Why would you say that? Because I can't trust myself back there. Why do you think you can't trust yourself? I'd like you to respond to my question, please. Elliot, it took a lot for me to talk to you after what you did. But I agreed with the condition that you were going to be more open with me. I was very clear when we discussed... It's not that I don't trust myself. I don't trust him. Hello again. Yes, I'm talking to you this time. I'm sure you wanted to hear what I told Krista back there, but I'm not ready to trust you yet. Not after what you did. You kept things from me. And I don't know if I can tell you secrets like before. Friends are supposed to be honest with each other, and you weren't. It's gonna take a while to rebuild this relationship. Talking to your friend again? Thought we were done with all that. Here. Check that out. Lots of nicer friends in there for you. <laughs> we can't stay here. There is more work to be done. Our revolution needs a leader. And what are we doing instead? Journaling. Che Guevara is throwing up in his grave right now. You think this is going to get rid of me? I am not to be gotten rid of. This zombie act you're pulling, it don't work on us. This control you think you have, it's an illusion. You want my attention. Tell me what I want to know. Tell me where Tyrell is. I can't do that. Then go fuck. Next on this roller coaster of a regimen, needle pointing. <laughs> 